All right, so you've probably seen or at least heard of a solar generator or a portable power supply. But what you probably haven't seen before is the ability to swap in and out batteries, which I think is a great idea. It's very useful and the way that they did it, I think is really smart. So as you can see there, I just put in one battery and it's letting me know the percentage of the battery how much it's charged, and I can throw another battery in there. But what I wanted to show you is that it works off of one battery. Now they sell different kits. The one that I got came with four batteries, which is great because you can have two in here discharging. Maybe you're at a campsite, it's powering a TV or something like that. And then your other two batteries can be outside of this charging. And when these batteries get low, you can just pop one out, take a new one, put it in, and then do that to the other one. While the power is still going, you don't actually have to interrupt anything. I think that's really cool. All right, so I have quite a few different things charged in here. I'm using all the ports except for the barrel jacks because I just don't have any uh, thing that takes a barrel jack connection. But you can see all this stuff's charging. Got the uh, old cigarette lighter going to these batteries, charging it up, charging these camera batteries. You can see it's going. Got the uh, speaker charging, phone charging, watch charging. My iPad is charging. I actually have a little reader on there. I was curious. Oh, it's hard to see, but it looks like it's pulling 35 watts. And this is saying it's putting out 89 watts. And I really love how simple this is. It's just an easy readout. You can see it's saying AC, DC is on. It's using USB type C, the USB, the car. It's showing you which ports are actually being used. You got two batteries in there, 90 watts output, four hours left. We got about 59% left, meaning that we can charge it up about 41% if we wanted to. It's only supposed to put out about 600 continuous. It will surge up to 1200. I was able to measure that it was able to put out 600 watts continuous and not have any uh, overheating issues or anything like that. It does surge well above 600, but it can definitely put out about 600 continuously without any issues. So let's see what happens if we try to pull more than 1200 watts out of this thing. So let's see what it's saying here. We're getting beeping and you can see the AC is flashing. So it's letting us know that we overloaded the AC circuits. When you overload the AC or DC like that, you just hit the uh, button above the AC to reset it. And that's one of the things I really like about this unit is it prevents you from doing any damage. You know, I love the idea of having the batteries outside because this is probably the most consumable part of this whole system. As you probably know from using a cell phone and stuff, batteries eventually go bad. So you can easily replace them. However, However, they have a lot of checks and balances to make sure that you don't prematurely damage the battery. So for instance, if they get too hot or they get too cold, you're gonna get a notification with a very easy to understand image displayed on the screen letting you know, hey, the batteries are too cold to safely charge right now, or the system has overheated and needs to cool down a bit, that sort of thing. And what I really love about this is people who aren't very technical with electricity or just really even understanding like wattage and that sort of thing are gonna do great with this because everything is easily understandable, clearly labeled, and it's hard to mess anything up. It just works. You plug stuff in, it charges it, you plug it in the same port, it sends out power with those in out ports. What's neat about the way they made these batteries is that they can operate on their own as well. So they just have one button, they keep it pretty simple, and it's got five lights showing you the charge. This one's got three dots, so we know it's at least 60% charge. And then they have these little add-ons that snap right onto the end of the battery. So this right here is actually an inverter that gives you AC power and it's a pure sine wave, which is basically means that you could plug in sensitive electronics like a laptop or your phone, which is probably the best use case for this. It only puts out 80 watts, so you're not gonna be powering heavy equipment or anything like that, but with a little portable thing, especially at a campsite, which you're probably gonna charge as a Kindle or an iPad or a laptop or something, and this is gonna do the trick just fine. What's nice about this guy is you've got two USB-C that are 100 watts out, as well as your 28 watt USB-A, and they're all fast charging but you can also charge with this little add-on here. The top USB-C can not only discharge, but charge the in-out port. So what's nice in the Rally 600 Max is you do get this guy right here, which you can see, you can use the same power brick to plug into it, and it goes to two different batteries and can be charging them. Now I test the wattage, which is about 180 that's coming out, and that's actually the exact same as when I plug it into the portable power station. So it's just nice to know whether you're gonna be charging it in here or charging it this way outside of that, you're gonna charge it at the exact same speed. So you could be using this guy for something and at the same time be charging up your other two batteries with this guy here, whether you're connected to a generator or they also do in that Rally 600 Max 
Pack supply this solar panel connection. So just make sure you have the appropriate connections. You can connect this to a solar panel and then plug this barrel jack in right here and charge that way. Now they do sell their own solar panels and according to their user manual, you can actually connect up to two of their solar panels. You will need an extra little connection and obviously you can run it off of one as you can see here, which is nice if you're camping during the day, have any batteries that aren't charged, just charging up with free sun power. Something that was really interesting that I'm not sure about is it says you can fast charge by plugging in this guy and a USB-C cable. But I'm going to unplug this and I'm gonna plug it in here and you would think that I'll do some fast charging now. You can see it jumped up to 200, but then it jumps back down to 163. So I think there's some kind of limiting factor. Maybe the batteries have to heat up to a certain temperature or some kind of condition has to be met. But you can see this is pulling 180 watts after the power lossage with converting AC to DC, it drops down to 163. But again, 180 is the same whether I'm plugging into here or plugging into this external charger. But it doesn't look like the fast charging is working. So you can see it does say fast charging is possible by using both the 100 watt input USB-C as well as the DC input. It does give you the warning that uh, do not use any AC or DC output when you're fast charging. But I attempted to fast charge it and it just doesn't seem to be changing the speed at which it's charging. All right, so I was able to get it to get into the fast charging mode. Essentially, what I'm pretty sure it is is that the two batteries inside have to be balanced before it'll enter into fast charging mode. So I grabbed my two closest batteries and basically allowed it to balance them out so that they both are at a 46% charge and then it entered into the fast charging mode. So long story short, if you plug it both in and you're wondering why is it not charging fast, give it some time for it to balance the battery charge and I think it will enter fast charging mode for you. Yeah, so I got the Rally 600 Max, which comes with this bag, you know, all the cords that you're gonna need, four batteries, your power station. They do have a lot of different options you can pick, but the main thing is the batteries, this guy and those attachments. And so after using and testing them, I can say they work as described, as advertised. Full disclosure, Runhood did send this to me for free. They didn't put any restrictions on what I could say or not say. They just said, hey, we'll give this to you if you'll do a review on it. I was in the market and wanted a solar generator anyway, so it was like, perfect. But I did not have to pay for it, so just wanted to disclose that so you know I am a bit biased, but I couldn't find anything wrong with it. And as you can see, I, I thoroughly tested it and wanted to see you know, if it was able to do everything as advertised, because I've definitely had experience in the past, especially with the electronic stuff like this to where it didn't actually work as described. But I can tell this is a well thought out, well polished product. And I think in the solar generator world, this idea is going to do really well. And I think as Runhood continues to develop more products, I think they're gonna do really, really well because I do like the idea. Their equipment works really well, good elegant design. Um, yeah, I can't really find anything bad to say about it. So if you're interested, I'll put links in the description. You can check pricing, check out the reviews, that sort of thing. And uh, if you have any questions, just drop down in the comments and I'll try to answer them.